Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide and this is continuation of Power BI tutorial. So today we are going to discuss a very important topic in the data modeling that is relationships. So why relationships are important and how we can build the relationship between the tables will see in this video. So we had made a great progress inside the query editor. Now we are going to build the relationship between the tables. So go to on Power BI desktop and we'll see in the practical. So let's get started. So here, as I told you, here we are having three tabs. First is the report view, then data view, then relationship view. So we are having total three tabs. In the relationship view, we can also call this as model view. So here I am going to create a visualization and we'll try to understand about the relationship by using that visualization. Visualization will be covered in the upcoming videos. So here as you can see, this is the visualization. So here we are having a lot of visualizations are available. If you want more, then you can click over here and you can import from any file or you can import from marketplace. So these are the options available and we'll cover once we understand about the visualizations. So here I am going to use the basic column chart. So this is the column chart. So what we want to do next, we just want to get the total due by country wise. So here go to on the final fact table that is country sales final. After that here as you can see we are having all the columns here let me find out for total due and this is need to drag and drop inside the values so here we are having only one that is good but we want get this data in country wise so go to on dimension address table and here we are having the country name so let me drag and drop this country name inside the axis now we can see we are having the same values and there is no any impact this visualization is not looks good and correct because the values are same for all the countries so why we are getting this value because we haven't created the relationship between the country sales final table and dim at this table so first we need to create the relationship between these two tables after that this visualization will looks good so go to our model view and here as you can see we are having all these tables you can simply press left mouse button and you can hover anywhere so here as i told you we need to build the relationship with the dim address and dim sales final table so we need to make the address by using address id let me press left mouse button and drag to the country sales final table so here as we can see it is build a relationship now go to on the report tab here again we can see we are having all the values in the blank in canada in us in uk we are having few values so this is not correct why it's not correct because we have created the relationship but that is not correct so here double click on this it is made a relationship with the line total and here we are having address id so it should be with the address id so we can go to on address id and we'll try to map with the correct so this is the address id need to select that one and now here we can see we are having this cardinality then cross filter direction and make this relationship active so we'll cover later in this video series now click on ok now go to on visualizations here it looks good in us we are having total due amount that is after the canada then france then uk then germany then australia and then we are having blank so this is the values and it looks good and the correct values are coming so this is the relationship and because we are having more than one tables and we are getting the data so we need to make the relationship on that 
here we are having few limitations because here as you can see we cannot create the relationship by using more than one columns for example if we want to select these two then we cannot so we have to make the relationship only a single individual column so this is the first limit limitation so this is the importance of the relationship that we need to create in the next videos we will see about the cardinality and cross filter direction and make this relationship active so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos thank you so much